Joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show, big fan of this man's work. It's a pleasure to chat with uh, with you here, Stanley Tucci, four-time Emmy Award winner, whose new show, La Fortuna, is now on AMC Plus with new episodes being released weekly on Thursdays. Good to see you, sir. Nice to see you, too. Thanks. So let's get just jump uh, straight into this series and uh, what it's about and what you, what you want people to know if they uh, if they are not familiar with this show just yet. Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's a six part series that's based on uh, a sort of based on a true story, but sort of it's kind of loosely based on a true story. Uh, and there was a graphic novel from which it came to um, it uh, about a guy who is a treasure hunter in, in the vein of uh, a sort of contemporary um, Indiana Jones, which is how he sees himself. Towards the end, we realize that maybe that's not really who he is it's not quite that um uh moral right and so uh, how do you it's basically the story of this there's this this gold from this shipwreck a spanish ship uh that that sank you know 500 years ago and um uh he figures out where it is and then is going to keep it and the spanish government says wait a minute that's ours uh, and it becomes this, this, this sort of war between them, uh, of who's going to be able to keep that gold. And it becomes quite litigious and, um, emotional. And so what attracts you to something like this when it's placed in front of you, where you say, okay, I'll, I'll do that. For you. I, I'd never played a character like that. I thought it was really I thought he was really interesting and he was very complicated and and um he had a lot of good in him but the circumstances allowed the the not so good in him mm -hmm. to come to the surface and so do you have uh like a an interest in in real life in you know these sorts of i guess baubles or trinkets or whatever you're you're looking for in this i'm fascinated show. yeah i'm fascinated by, by i'm fascinated by archaeology mm -hmm. and i'm fascinated by anything that um in fact well i live in london so there's a thing that you do in london or that's that some of us do yeah sort of nerdier ones <laughs> like me we go mudlarking and mudlarking is where you walk along the foreshore of the of the thames and you find whatever the river decides to to give you or you know uh and it's fascinating because london is so old founded by the romans uh that people find anything from roman times to uh saxon uh saxon uh early uh viking uh, uh swords trinkets uh all the way through a victorian era uh it's it's kind of incredible what you'll end up finding in the Thames. So, okay, so you're walking the Thames, and yeah. some, uh, I guess, ancient treasure of some sort will yeah. just be in the mud. Like, what have you found? Yeah, yeah, you find mostly uh, you find a lot of clay pipes that date from a whole bunch of different eras, mm -hmm. um, and because clay pipes were basically they were they were they were just disposable, right? Like like a cigarette. Mm -hmm. um so when they so they, they, then people use them for you know a couple hundred years so you find you always find pieces of clay pipe and you find it even in soil like the soil that they'll use to fill your garden your backyard if you dig in there you're definitely going to find pieces of uh tile crockery pottery you're going to find definitely pieces of pipe either the bowl of the pipe or the stem of the pipe um and you know that you find beautiful glass bottles you'll find um uh belt buckles you'll find you know people find swords people find everything swords this is yeah you're ta i'm talking about like viking swords there was just uh uh there was somebody who found a they believe it was a viking sword in in putney which is the next about <laughs> two miles down the road I, i'm it's, it's kind of incredible what what they what they uncover so what do you if do? You just you go call... on, go, go on the internet. And just look up mudlarking. Okay. And there's and a woman just... named Laura Maiklin, and mm -hmm. she um, 
she's like sort of the 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 queen of the of the mudlarks she's written a couple of books about it and it's very beautiful her first book is really beautiful um but it's that it's that kind of stuff the digging back into history that mm-hmm. i find fascinating and that's one of the reasons why la fortuna to me was really interesting so they they found the right four-time emmy award-winning mudlarker for <laughs> for this project is that what you're saying stanley yeah, without question yeah i do it i take my son my son and i he's seven we go down and just down the rivers right here, just half a block away. So we, we go down when the tide is low. It's a little stinky. Go figure that. Okay. Well, that's something I did not know, which kind of uh, plays into something that I do here on my show with celebrity guests like yourself is a celebrity true or false, where uh, we see things about your career that's been written and uh, actually place it in front of you to see if you can confirm whether something's true or false, if you don't mind playing along. Yeah, no, yeah, go ahead. Here we go. Here's Celebrity True or False with Stanley Tucci. Celebrity True or False. You can't handle the truth. First up, uh, True or False, Stanley Tucci, you are roommates with a certain Irving Rames <laughs> at SUNY Purchase, and you were the first to start calling him Ving. Is that true or false? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, I was definitely the first to start calling him Bing. Yeah, because I was—I didn't understand his the fact that his name was. It seemed—it didn't seem to suit him. Yes, the name Irving, and I said, well, I, and I just started calling him Bing, and he goes, "I like that," and so that was that. And that was that. Yeah, I think he legally changed it. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, did you just move into the dorms, and he was there? Or did you no, know no, 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 no. We were in the same class. At, at, at you know, it was you had companies. The school we went to was SUNY at Purchase, which was a, a conservatory. At, and and basically, you had to audition to get in, and they chose a group of thirty people for each year, and you stayed mm-hmm. with those thirty people. There were cuts periodically, so eventually it dwindled down to like I don't know, maybe eighteen people or something like that. Uh, and so he was in the class with me, and. So we were together. We were at school for four years together. Right. So then you just were roommates, and now he's known as Ving Rames, and that is cause for you because you were the one who decided to shorten his name. How about yeah. that? I did yeah. not know that. Yeah, I know. I know. There you go. Well done, <laughs> sir. Well done. Uh, true or false? Your first on-camera job was in a Levi's commercial. Is that true or false? Um, yeah, I think I think that was the first time I was ever on camera. I'm not quite sure. Probably. Okay. Yeah. How, yeah. uh, what, what did you do in this commercial? Story? I just walked down the street towards the camera. It was this whole series of commercials that that were done in the 80s for Levi's. They were really great commercials. And and just people, they would just pick people, you know, you'd go in and they'd say, they'd just talk to you and then they might call you to be in the commercial. And all you did was walk down the street or stand on a street corner or whatever. Did you get to keep they were the pants? They very hip and cool, all these long lenses. and That's you know. a, Yeah. Did you get to keep the pants, Stanley? Did you? I did they, think did they... I kept the pants. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like, like a, like a made, certain... made a few hundred bucks and kept the pants. Very good. And things clearly worked out, which leads to my, and then my next uh, true or false, because it involves Meryl Streep. So clearly it, things worked out for you after the Levi's commercial. Um, <laughs> uh, true or false, uh, we already know you're a lifelong foodie. I want to get into that a little bit more. You made Meryl Streep cook with you before shooting Julia and Julia. Is that true or, or false? Yes, true. Yeah. Just- yeah, because I felt like we needed to be in the kitchen together and we were both busy. And it was it was hard to sort of get everybody's schedule together, and, you know. And then um, I said, well, don't you think we need to just get in the kitchen together just once? Mm-hmm. just to feel it out she goes, i go i don't want to be too methody you know but and she goes yeah yeah all right all right, all right. so so we, we we so we got into the kitchen and we and we had well we just had the best time what'd you make do you remember uh blanquette de veau we cooked from one of julia's from the the art of french cooking mm-hmm. uh uh and um we made blanquette de veau which you know like a lot of those recipes is incredibly rich uh, and then Meryl made a tart tatin that was really good. Oh, cool. I tried to make some vegetable thing, but it didn't work. Okay. So it was award winning because she was doing it. Is that basically it? Did she, is she yeah, award winning yeah. cook just because it's, yeah. okay, it yeah. goes without saying. I don't mean to be, you it's, know, she gets every award. Yeah. It's pretty much, yes. Uh, true or false? You're John, Kravins- uh, John Krasinski's brother in law. Is that true or false, Stanley? <laughs> You'll have to ask our wives. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I am. Yeah. 
Are He's you aware brother. like that shocked everybody when that got on the Instagram? I just, <laughs> are you aware of that? Stanley? Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious. If, if I'm married to Emily's sister, then he would be my brother-in-law. <laughs> I mean, it's not that complicated. No, I know that, but I, I it's, I, I, I guess, you know, you, you hear the last names and you don't put two and two together, but it's kind of just, <laughs> what, what, yeah, what is that? They're, they're, they're going to be here. Yeah, they're going to come. They're going to be here. They're going to stay with us for a bit. So that's nice. Yeah, people kind of flipped out about that when they when they kind of <laughs> heard about it. Um, so I guess this makes this next one pretty wild too, because um, the the connection, the through line is Devil Wears Prada. Um, is it true that you joined the cast the weekend before shooting your first day on a Monday? Is that a true story right there, Stan? Uh, not quite that quick, but yeah, j just about. I mean, I didn't have a lot of time. Let's put it that way. They were well, already the filming. Yeah, I mean, the, the fact that you then, you know, met your wife through this, I mean, that is kind of, you know, um, kismet, right? That you're, that you joined the cast late, and then all of a sudden you had a big, you know, life moment for yourself. Well, yeah, I did. I mean, I, I you know, I joined the cast, and I knew Meryl just socially, and then um, we, uh, I joined the cast, I didn't know Emily, and Emily and I became friends. And then um, after that, and I was married at the time, my wife was, just, my late wife was still alive. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Emily and I stayed friends th th throughout. And then when I went to Emily's wedding, I met her sister. And we had met once before at the Devil Wears Prada premiere. And then I was coming to England and um, to do Captain America. And I said, well, why don't, you know, let's go out to dinner. So we went out to dinner and then we got married. Not that fast. There you go. And there you go. That is incredible. And then, uh, you know, obviously food is such an important part of, you know, what, how people know you, uh, your series that you have done recently, um, searching for Italy, Stanley Tucci searching for Italy. I, I have to tell you personally, my wife and I adore this show. Oh, thank you. Thanks. And, um, I'm sure you've heard this a lot that you helped people get through the pandemic or something <laughs> yeah, like know. this, right? Like, the, I know, is that, yeah. Uh, is that, uh, I assume you've heard that a lot. I have heard right? that. And I'm, I'm happy that I could do something because we were all so helpless, let's face it. But people really were excited, uh, are, were excited about, and are excited about the show. And yes, it, I think it did. You know, it, it can sort of live vicariously through us. Um, and, and no, it was nice. I mean, also we had a captive audience. Let's face it; you know, they weren't going anywhere. So. <laughs> well, but I mean, it felt maybe, like we. No, it, it, feel, it felt like it felt like we did go somewhere, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. That's, well, that's what you want. I mean, but maybe if we, if we, if there hadn't been a pandemic, we wouldn't have had as many viewers. But anyway, it worked out. So where where is the best pasta dish in Italy, Stanley no. Tucci? I know no. that. No. Can't do that. No, not a question. No, not a question because there's no answer. There is no answer for that. It could be carbonara in Rome. It could be uh, uh, the uh, spaghetti alla zucchini uh, con zucchini alla Nerano at Lo Scoglio. It could be. It could be a million. <laughs> it could be anything. I know. I shouldn't. I should know better than to have asked that question. But I thought <laughs> maybe. Maybe there was an answer. No, that, no answer. Know, no. Well, I've read that. I guess that's why there is a season two of this show, right? Coming up. Yes, right? coming out in March. Fantastic. As as I should, because yeah. my wife and I, one of the best pasta dishes we've ever had in Italy, I've been yeah. married uh, 18 years, uh, was when we were driving on our honeymoon from Milan down to Rome. Yeah. And we stopped off to you know, fill up with gas at a gas station in, outside of Bologna and found this restaurant called Tre Galetti and mm -hmm. just said, all right, we'll try it. It looked, you know, it was in a strip mall. It was one of the best pasta dishes I've ever had in my entire life. Yeah, it, it, there's you know? no telling. It is the weirdest. It is like the weirdest thing in the world. I mean, sometimes you'll get like a great piece of pizza, like like you say, like a gas station. In a, <laughs> and you're just like, what? There's nothing or, or a pasta or like you go and there's a little restaurant attached to the gas station and, and you'll have rabbit you know and you're like what 
and that what oh my gosh and then of yeah. course you've got taste my life through food which is a, a a book that's available now wherever you can get your books so um you know truly um uh, appreciate your time and your work stanley tucci and then there's la Thank fortuna uh, amc plus where new episodes being released weekly on thursdays congratulations on that thank you so much absolutely thank i'd love to do this anytime you want to just shoot the breeze about food or anything going on <laughs> in your career i barely touched on on your your film and television career so great thanks to you sir oh Appreciate thank you so much and i do hope you get to go to the scolio you know what um i i've seen the photographs i i i came very close you know the whole COVID thing knocked me out, but um, I know I'm so sorry. My wife is determined to go there. And you're going to go, you're going to go there. You're going to go there and you're going to have the best time. Right. And I have to plan. That's like a five hour deal, right? Something like that. Isn't that or, what the food? No, just the whole experience. You just to hang there. Right. No. Well, you can stay there. Right. So they there have rooms. Oh, they have God. rooms upstairs and it, they're really simple. It's nothing fancy at all. Mm -hmm. but it's just so lovely and the people are so nice it is so great that's what i would do stay there for a night or two it's just there fun. you go done yeah. thank you stanley right. tucci Have everybody fun. watch la fortuna on amc amc plus thanks for joining me here on the show thanks a lot you ciao see you later hey you watched all the way to the end thanks for that watch more right here